the oral tradition, you've got everything. You've got a whole ancestry behind it comes through you. And when you tell the story or sing a song, you are the vehicle by which a tribe comes through you. And all your ancestors come here to help you. Now my auntie Jeannie used to say, when you sing a ballad, tap it in the morning. That the ballad is out here in the air, it travels with the great waves in the air. It's recorded in the bars and the stone and the wind and the trees and that. So when you take a ballad, you get to sing a ballad. Read it in with you, let it fill every part of your body. She actors. And when you become one of these characters, then once it's inside you, then you talk it to one as best as you can. She never said you'd be a great singer to be it. She just wants you to feel the spirit and then tap it in body. Go away from my window Do not enter it Go away from my window Do not enter it I will tell my dear brother Of my terrible sin Go away from my window, do not enter in. Go away from my window, take her far from my door. For my heart it is sad, and my spirit is blue. I will tell my dear father. It will soon break his heart of my terrible sin of what you took apart. Go away from my window. You have caused me such strife. For my heart it is so low that I might end. and the great storyteller, piper, singer, ballad singer from Aberdeen. And uh, he's recounting uh, what Jeannie Robertson is uh, telling to him about the essence of ballad singing. And the song itself um, is actually from America. And then it was brought over to, uh, to the Robertsons, we think, by Jean Ritchie. But if you listen to it, you think it's about, you know, unrequited love or something. Uh, it's actually about a bank robbery. Uh, <laughs> 
in which a girl is going to go to the bank, robbing a bank with her partner, and uh, they get caught. Uh, well, she gets caught, but the partner doesn't. So it's not a very good time all around for her. So uh, before further ado, I think it's really important that I introduce you to uh, the lads that I've got up on stage with me. Uh, familiar faces, I keep dragging them back. On my left, on vocals and guitar, is Aidan Moody. Oh. And on my right, on the mandolin, is Graham Rory. So uh, this, this recital is folk songs of Aberdeenshire and I'm going to carry on now with a Bothy ballad. And it's one of the most well-known first generation Bothy ballads. And I got this from the singing of Jock Duncan, but several, several singers have sung this in Bothy ballad competitions. And it's one of the first generation ones that would have been sung on the farm at the time of the farming. So it's called Guys Too. And um, it's about a lad that is feed onto the farm and uh, he, he's probably there for six months, maybe a year. Probably not a year because it didn't turn out good. He's promised good things, but when he goes to the farm, uh, the horses won't get up in the morning, the plough doesn't work, and his colleagues are alcoholics. So the fundamentals of a basic farm are, are not there. It's got a great chorus, so please, please join in. <coughs> Oh, 
recorded it on um, on his, his first and last album that he made when he was in his 90s and um, in Bruri, cultural metropolis of the world it um, this song has a version called the banks of Inveriri and the reason for this being is that years and years ago Inveriri and Inveriri were spelt very 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 similar only one word one letter was a difference and um, so there's a version of the song that ended up being from Inveriri, but uh, the post kept on being mixed up. It was ridiculous. Uh, but when the ballads got mixed up, that's when the people of Inveriri had to take a stand. So uh, I think 20th of April 1866, Inveriri is now spelt with an IE. So hopefully the ballad thing will never ever happen again. And, uh, it's definitely from Aberdeenshire. So the, the story of this uh, song is that um, a girl is walking down by the River Yuri at Inveruri and a lad goes in and asks her to marry him and she says no and that is it. <laughs> Oh, 
shoots on her tonight on the bank so comes from the borders but lots and lots of sore singers including John Strachan and Jane Turrup I think and uh, Jimmy Robertson sings this song and it's placed in Money Musk and that's just near Inveruri so I'm going to claim Aberdeenshire origins for this one too and um, the death count in this child ballad definitely not for children I may add um, is extraordinarily high in the fact that there's two dogs, uh, one deer, and seven men, or eight men, eight men actually. 
So it's like a typical night out in Aberdeen. So uh, this one's called Johnny O'Bradesley and there's a wee bit of a refrain and it changes each time. And, uh, but it happens about 15 times, so you'll get lots of chances. <laughs> Johnny rose up on a May morning, caught for water to wash his hands. Seeking hours to be married to a great dogs, that like bound in iron bands, bands, that like bound in
learn from two sources, one being um, the singing of Gardena McCulloch and uh, the other one being um, from Tam Spears. And this is a, a ballad called The Mill of Zani. And I think the shocking thing about this one is that there's a lot of hard evidence which suggests that this tale was completely and utterly true and that took place in Fivey between a woman named Agnes Smith um, who fell in love with um, Lord Fivey's trumpeter and uh, her father and her family wanted her to wed Lord Fivey but certainly not the trumpeter so um, they sent him to Edinburgh and then what happened was um, was a horrible act of cruelty and inhumanity and, and they, they murdered her and um, yeah, I just think that this is one of those shocking ballads that resonates with all of us today just as much as it would resonate with people back in, um, in the 1600s when it took place in 1673. Uh, and to date, this um, in the 20th century was the most uh, popular song recorded uh, by female source singers in the School of Scottish Studies archives. So, um, yeah. <coughs> I had some other taffy that ever made a man And then he buried to five years And he had a bonny daughter fair And her name was Bonnie Annie Her skin was like a springing flu That greets the rosy mar and her innocence and graceful mien, her beauty's face adorning. Lord Fivey had a trumpeter, and his name was Andrew Alani, and he had the ears to win the heart, oh, mellow Tifty's Annie. Lord Fivey, he read by the door, for to that sweet Tifty Sunny, but his trumpeter wrote him a four, and his name was Andralani. Her mother caught her to the door, come here, come here, my Annie, did he ever see sick a bonny loon? And the trumpeter of Ivy, nothing she said that sounds here. Twas a lass for Bonnie Annie, for she durst not on that her hair was won by the trumpeter of Ivy. And the first time that this couple met, twas in the words of Ivy. His handsome face and fluttering tongue seen one here to Annie. But Lord Fivey come to hear all this, and a letter wrote to Fivey to tell his daughter had been bewitched by his servant Andrew Annie. Then Fivey had the letter read. He caught for Andralani, pray tell me if it is this ye have deemed to melt of these honey. In wicked it I've played me peered, nor thought to ensure on but it's honest love that's won the heart, O melt of these honey. But to Edinburgh he was sent to break his tie we had he, for they thought that she would soon forget her love for Andralani. And the next time that Lord Fivey passed, he caught a sack to Annie, says if he'd come no oh, higher kin, I would make him my own lady. Says she, your lands are fat and white, and they are wondrous body, but I would now leave my own dear love for all the lands and five. And then her feather bet her wondrous 
sore, and also did her mother. Our sisters also took their score, but we be tea her breather, for her breather better wonder sore. We cruel strokes and money, and he's broke her back across a stain, all for love and Jalani. Oh, mother, mother, mark my bed, and lay my face to find me, for it's the Be far near, they pity Tafty Sani. But I bore all and one peer lad, all for love in Andralami. one it's a bit more cheerful um, this one was written by James Wright who was a farmer himself and it's uh, although it's not as older as old as Geyser 2 it's kind of made its way into the competitive Bothy ballad world and um, it's been recorded by a man named Eric Simpson and this song is featured quite heavily in the Bothy ballad champion of champion competition which is held in uh, Elgin Toon Hall uh, every February and um, I got this from the singing of Alan Taylor and um, it's about a lad who, who goes to try and show his cattle at Slafford Cattle Show and uh, he ends up married so, but he didn't win anything that day so it was a win-win situation so please join in <laughs> And he offered we'll gain doon We horse and fancy harness I think we'll he a go To try and win the first prize At the offered cattle show So if he went excitement And he liked to he a go Just come along and enjoy the fun At the offered cattle show We set off on the stroke of nine Our best was like a queen her tail a tied in bonny plates, her skin was fair a sheen. But a hardy lad remarking, she has no long to go. As Bess and I proceeded till the offered cattle show. So if he went excitement and he liked to be a go, just come along and enjoy the fun at the offered cattle show. No fin we landed at the park, I had a boy the grin, and I met in we a phoneman, we a place they ca a saloon. He said he didn't stand a chance, I said, well that's me so, for I hope to win the first prize at the Afford Cattle Show. So if he went excitement, and he liked to hear a go, just come along and enjoy the fun at the Afford Cattle Show. I never saw sick bonny beasts, but I saw that day there was prize bulls of the colonies, brass dots for course and day. There was sick a lot to see there that I really didn't know, but I'd like the nagang to see the Afford Cattle Show. So if he went excitement and he liked to be a go, just come along and enjoy the fun at the Afford Cattle Show. I got a rude awakening, our best took seeking prize, and just to show she was not pleased, laid down a wet a rise. So I thought I'd better dame a bit to show I was not slow. So I entered for the sports events of the Afford Cattle Show. So if he went excitement and he liked to be a go, just come along and enjoy the fun at the Afford Cattle Show. After I was dead 
I strip it to the sark and in part and other races just for a wee bit lark. But the obstacles fear beat me, and my face was all aglow. For I taped my breeks gun through a bag at the Alford Gattle Show. So if you went excitement, and you like to be a go, just come along and enjoy the fun at the Alford Cattle Show. I didn't let that incident upset my happy day, and after some refreshment, I was feeling kind of gay. So fun the band struck up a waltz, I thought I'd hear a go. So I oxed up half the Yuki's deem at the Alford Cattle Show. So if he went excitement and he liked to hear a go, just come along and enjoy the fun at the Alford Cattle Show. New arsenic was wheeling on, I said new Mary Jane. I'd like to hear the last words, and then I'll see him. But that was my undoing, and I went to what he know. We got married me long after that Alfred cattle show. So if he went excitement, and you like to hear I go, just come along and enjoy the fun of the Alfred cattle show. Aidan Moody and Graham Rory to stand up. <laughs> so we've came to the end of my recital and technically the end of my four years at the conservatoire, which is pretty scary stuff. And um, before I finish up, I've got lots and lots of thanks to say to all of my tutors over the past four years, uh, Fiona, Rod, Margaret, Marjorie, James Ross. Um, it's just been totally a great, great time and I've learnt so, so much from all of them. Uh, thank you very much to Carla on the sound tonight, as well as um, Graham and Aidan for accompanying me so skillfully. Thank you very much to Jen Butterworth, uh, Ali McCulloch and everyone who uh, puts this recital festival all together. The recital festivals carry on until next week, so there's lots, lots more to see. Um, and thank you very much for you all for coming. Josh Dixon and Laurie Watson for their um, help and their guidance and their inputs over the past four years too. And yeah, you know what? Thank you guys for coming. If, it, if you didn't come, would just be uh, yeah, it wouldn't be good. So um, we're going to finish off with a really, really, really well-known um, song from the northeast of Scotland. And it's a wee bit different to the normal version of this song in the fact that um, I got this from an English singer called Sam Kelly. And uh, he got it from Cecil Sharp's uh, Southern uh, the English folk songs of the Southern Appalachians. And um, actually, Bob Dylan had the exact same song as well. So I've kind of put the Doric stuff back in and I did a mishmash of the Bonnie Lass of Ivy. And it dates back to 1644. And um, it's got a good story to it, lots of death, I'm sure. <laughs> and it's got a good chorus, only audible to dogs. <clears throat> let's, let's try. So it goes like this. Oh, pretty Peggy. <clears throat> And if you don't like this version, it's Sam Kelly, not me. <laughs> Thank you very much.
body laughs if I be old. If never I return, pretty Peggy, oh. If never I return, pretty Peggy, oh. But I see the morning dew, oh. I will think of you. My body laughs if I be old. Oh, pretty Peggy, oh. Body laughs if I be Thank you very much.